Hi everyone, welcome back to Game Maker Cast. It's Mickey, and in this short video tutorial, we're going to be adding item blocks into our platformer games. So let's roll the introduction and get right into it. <laughs> Now, if you've downloaded the demo project found in the description below, we'll have a player that can move left and right and collide with the item blocks. However, the one thing it can't do is actually make the items appear. So the goal of this tutorial is going to be hitting the blocks, spawning a coin or a key, or whatever you may want the player to collect. The one thing to remember when dealing with these item blocks is that the player will need to be underneath the item blocks, so that means that we need to do something a little bit different than just doing a regular collision. Once we know the player is underneath and colliding with the box, we can grab the instance and check the position. So to do this, we'll open up our object player. Inside the step event, you can see we have the horizontal movement like we would for a platformer. We also have it for the block. We'll come down to the vertical movement and basically right here where we're checking to see if we are colliding with a block we're going to grab the actual instance of that block let's store it in a variable and now with this actual instance block we need to check the y position of our player based on the b box bottom so that's right below this block we can do that with a simple if statement we can say if our y position of our player plus the vertical movement that we are trying to move to is bigger or equal to the instance block dot b box bottom which will put us at the bottom then we know that we are underneath this block that we are currently about to hit we can then call a function that we will create based off of that instance and we'll just call it hit now let's open up our object block item and go into the create event and create that new hit function now before we write any code if we check out our sprite we go to the tile here you can see that our sprite has two frames a frame that indicates that the item can be hit and a frame that indicates that it has already been hit or disabled we're going to be using this as a boolean to tell us whether or not we can spawn those items so the first thing we want to do is make sure that our image index does not equal one which means that we can spawn an item now that we know that we can spawn an item let's set our image index to one and then actually spawn a random item and you can see that i have an object coin and an object key let's randomly choose one of these objects to spawn the final thing to do is actually add this instance into our game so let's use an instance to create depth and what we want to do is call the x position and y position of our block now my block is 21 pixels high so i'm going to move this object 21 pixels up to put it right above the block the next thing and the final thing we really need to do is going to be adding the instance or that random object that we're choosing now that we have this let's run our game and let's see if we run into any issues I should be able to move left and right. I should also be able to jump on top of the block and nothing happens. However, if I hit it below, you can see that we have some random objects appearing beneath each one. And that's it. Now we can add item blocks into any of our games that we want, and we could pick up these items as the player passes over them. Thanks for watching, and please don't forget to like and subscribe to help the channel grow. A special shout out to the following users from my Patreon page. Robert, Ashby, Mary, Annie, Timothy, Victor, Edward, Dicite, David, and Paul. Once again, thank you everyone for the support through YouTube and Patreon, and I'll catch you in the next video.